there were so many people that prophesied the end of our ministry and their prophecies will never come to pass how are you doing my family welcome again to direct tv bringing to the truth welcome guys to this special and wonderful episode of my video today all right in today's video guys i'm here with prophet um um Robert angel and the man of god um bishop mamari please guys these are two different videos and first of all i'd like us to listen to you know my prophet prophet Robert angel as you know he speaks on you know the fact that so many people actually prophesied about his ministry and this is the same thing that happens when once people don't like a minister of god they begin to talk down you know and begin to prophesy what they don't know and there are a lot of people that does that even today they prophesy that you know the ministry of this man of god is going to do this do that anyways i'd like you to listen to Iber angel um prophet Iber angel himself as he speaks all right and before we dive into the video for those of you coming newly to my channel just kindly do subscribe button and subscribe to this channel and then if you ever like the video up to this point hit the like button like to this video guys what does that right back now hear this there was a time that we had um a lot of things happening in a ministry and though we were not really losing people per se there were so many people that prophesied the end of our ministry and their prophecies will never come to pass now but in the course of that period we had a lot of people one is gone one is come back one is doing this one is, you, you you if you're a man of god and a woman of god you understand that there is a period where you may lose sons and even daughters not because there were sons and daughters all of them the bible says they went out from among us because they were never of us hmm. But they had to go out so their works can be revealed that they were never part of us. How be it if they were of us, they would have returned. Hear me. But God said something marvelous and gave me this scripture. That's not today's preaching, by the way. That's Isaiah 49, mm, verse number 19. This was a scripture. That began to say a lot. I remember giving it to, to Prophet Jerome when he was going through a period, not of losing members. You understand? You can be increasing in members, but you have one or two people that don't understand where you are going. And they can choose to part ways with you. That is also good for you. <laughs> because there are some people who cannot go to your destiny. Tend to your neighbor and say, your destiny is seldom tied is seldom tied to the people who live you. Hear what the scriptures say. For thy waste and thy desolate places and the land of thy destruction shall even now be too narrow by reason of the inhabitants. And they that swallowed thee up shall be far away receive that declaration now i don't know if you're hearing me but receive that declaration right this minute the people that cause trouble for you will be far away and the place you stay shall be too little even though it's a seven bedroom house it shall be too little if you see uh, you're, 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 you're getting it now Hear me well. The children which thou shalt have after you have lost others shall say to your ears, the place is too straight, it's too small for us. That means God is going to increase your connections, increase your connections. That it says, give place to me that I may dwell. Mm. Then thou shalt say in thine heart, who has given birth to these new children? Hey. Ah. You, you, you are children of consolation. 
who has given birth to these new ones? Seeing I lost many children and I'm desolate and a captive. Notice what he says. He didn't say I'm a legal captive. He says I'm a captive. And removing to and fro. And who hath brought up these? Behold, I was left alone. These, where have they been? Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Now he begins to give the the blessing for restoration and we're going to deal with it in a few minutes and then of course we're going to minister uh, powerfully now here thus says the Lord behold I will lift up my hand to the genders and set up my standard to the people and they shall bring thy sons in their arms and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders and kings shall be your nursing fathers no 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 you don't get this let me take it to the message bible from verse number 22 before we get to the message of the day the master god says look i signal to nations ah. I'm sending signals to nations. I raise my flag to summon the people. Here they will come. Women carrying your little boys in their arms. Men carrying your little girls on their shoulders. Kings will be your babysitters. Now, now you're getting it now. Princesses will be your nursemaids. They will offer to do all your housework. Oh, oh, yo, 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 yo. Somebody in the hearing of this passage, your change is coming, Balato. They will alter, they will even offer to scrub, you, scrub your floors. Do your laundry, kings and princesses and queens. You will know then that I am God. Now, that's it. All right, my family, there you have it with, um, you know, Prophet Uber Angel. What's so amazing, so, so amazing, you see. And this is very true, you see. I would like to talk about this particular thing he said, where, you know, there are some people that are in church and they behave like they're in church, but, you know, they are truly not amongst us, all right? So um, just listen to, I, I, I came across this video by um, Bishop Mamari, I was happy I saw it, it blessed me the way he explained it, alright, and I want you to take note of what I'm saying, please, it blessed me the way he explained, you know, the fact that you, go, you, you should go to church, you should read your Bible and do the things of God, and that's why I'm bringing it in between these videos, so go ahead and just watch it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, I'll be right back. This young man came, he said, father, father, yes, my son. He said, Father, do I have to go to church? I said, no, you don't have to. What? No, you don't. Do I have to pray? I said, no, you don't. Do I have to read the Holy Bible? I said, no, you don't. Who told you this? He said, my, my parents. I said, your parents are wrong. This guy hit the jackpot. He said, that's it, brother. That's it. I'm going to go back to mom and dad and say, then and then and then. The bishop himself said, you don't have to go to church, you don't need to pray, you don't need to fast, you don't need to read the Holy Bible. Mom and dad, see you later. Get off my case. I said, but before you go and talk to your parents, let me ask you this question, my son. He said, yes, father. I said, do you love the Lord? He said, of course I do. I said, okay. Well, if you love the Lord, then you have to go to church. And if you love the Lord, you have to read the Holy Bible. And if you love the Lord, you have to pray and you have to fast. If you love the Lord, you see, going to church, reading the Bible, doing all the beautiful charitable deeds are the result, the fruits of that love. Therefore, in Christianity, there is no such thing as I have to. Christianity is not a religion in the sense of a religion because the moment we invoke 
the name religion or the word religion, we are invoking a, a set of rules, guidelines, laws and regulations. Religion will tell you, if you don't fast, you're in deep trouble. If you don't pray, you're in deep trouble. If you don't do this, you're in deep trouble. You have to do. The Lord clearly said it to all of us, His followers. John 15, 5. Without me, I, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you cannot do nothing. You cannot. It is not your doing. It is what I did for you on the cross that will bring you to me. But then what do I need to do since I accepted this love and this relationship based on this love, divine love, then I have to say the following. Christianity is a belief in a person called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is not a belief in a set of rules, guidelines, laws and regulations. It is not. It is a belief in a person, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When I fall in love with this perfect God and perfect man, this heavenly groom, this good shepherd, this king of all kings and lord of all lords, my God, my father, my mother, my everything to me. When I fall in love with him, then the result of that love will make me go to church and do everything that puts a smile on the Lord's face. Since I love him. Since I love him. See, there's a difference now. Lord, I came to your house because I love you. Not because I am obligated to go to church. I'm not obligated. But since I love you, I want to be with the one I love. So wherever my love is, I need to be there. I want to be there. When you are sitting with your sweetheart at a cafe, do you look at the watch all the time? You take the watch and throw it away. You will never look at the time. Why? Because the last thing you want is the time to take you away from your sweetheart. When you are with the love of your life, you want to be there forever. You don't want to move. You, don't, you want everything to stop, including time. So when I'm with the Lord, nothing else matters. I don't care. I've been preaching for 10 hours. Well, St. Paul beat me and the Lord preached for three days. So he hit the world record, Jesus Christ. So don't say the bishop preaches for two hours. I'm nowhere near St. Paul, nor the Lord Jesus. <laughs> he preached in the wilderness for three days. People started collapsing out of starvation. But you see, when you are so engulfed with this love, you lose yourself and everything with it. Wow, 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 wow. Did you hear that? Oh my goodness, this man is just so loaded, he's just so loaded and you know exactly with you know, many men of God you see and I, I want to strongly believe you are blessed you know something he said that you know actually got to me as I got to bring it to you you know there are a lot of people that when you go to church you see them begin to check their time, their watch, you know what's going on oh I have business to do, I have this to do you know and that's just how they are and that's not the right way to be you see if you if you are if you are somebody that loves your wife so much all right and you go out with your wife you don't look at your time in fact you want to spend your whole day just with her same thing with um you having your husband you want to spend the whole day with your husband or your spouse you see so um the issue of some people that will go to church and then um you you know they begin to um look look at their watch you know they are running out of time that's not right you see that's not right it doesn't grow your spirit you have an unhealthy spirit and that's very wrong all right because it will affect you later all right when challenges actually come because challenges come to you know test uh, you know your faith how strong you are and if it tested it tests you and and then you can't stand you see you know that you are not receiving god's word so it's always important that you know you do many of these things he did mention. I trust you are blessed in today's video. And for those of you coming very new to my channel, just click the subscribe button, subscribe to this channel. And if you ever like the video, hit the like button like today's video, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.